Well hello there, this is another one of those projects I had lying around in the background. You can see all the arbor trees that will be turned into ethanol. The ethanol will be burned, produce power for the whole thing. We can use the carbon dioxide in a slickster farm to produce food or to produce crude oil and a little bit of petroleum if you are lucky or unlucky to get a molten slickster, however you want to see it. You can also produce enough polluted water to feed a lot of those thimble reeds. The thimble reeds need to be cooled down though, otherwise they will not grow. I just placed a thermo aqua tuner down here, which probably does not have any negative effects cause it will be cooled by the crude oil and it is not running a lot. I also threw in a lot of sunny shells down to the right. Now let me explain you the thing. First we have this arbor tree area here. A bunch of pips planted this and a bunch of sweepies collected the lumber. Then I got rid of the sweepies cause they weren't driving to the far right and um, kind of slow. So I replaced them with the auto sweepers here. The auto sweepers here will grab the lumber and transport it to the next area. Which is this area right here. The lumber will arrive at these conveyor receptacles which are accessible by at least two auto sweepers here, one to the left and one to the right. Same goes for this conveyor receptacle here. Since the ethanol distillers will next to producing a lot of ethanol, also drop polluted dirt. The polluted dirt is then collected by the auto sweepers, fed to a conveyor loader and then transported away. The dirt will eventually end up in this farm here to the right with the sandy shells. The sandy shells take care of the dirt and will make sand out of it. The sand is then collected as you can see here and fed to the conveyor rail. Everything is dropped either here if it is sand, cause it's filtered out right here. Or if it is food it will be dropped here and this is here to symbolize your food storage or anything that should be cold as you can see by the cold temperatures. Back to the whole system. We were at this area here where we produce a lot of ethanol. 500 gram of ethanol per ethanol distiller if I'm correct. Which means with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 ethanol distillers we should reach 3 kg of ethanol per second. This is then fed to the petroleum generators producing around 3000 kW of power per second which is used by the whole thing. Also we are getting rid of the carbon dioxide with the help of the pumps here. The carbon dioxide will then be fed to the slicksters. Everything else will accumulate in the room. At the moment we do have 84 kg of carbon dioxide here. The polluted water that is dropped by the petroleum generators is collected right here and then fed to either an infinite storage down here or to the thimble reed. Also right underneath the petroleum generators and the ethanol distillers we do have a lot of jumbo batteries to keep that thing running. Everything is controlled by this smart battery here to the right which I disconnected so it just runs forever but if you want to you can also have it hooked up and only run at certain times which is counterproductive because you want to produce the materials that you can then either burn or feed to the critter. Like these slicksters here that eat all of our carbon dioxide, produce some meat in the process and some crude oil, sometimes even some petroleum which we don't want in here because it could ruin our internet storage. So just a tip, get rid of your molten slicksters right away. The 60 here is for how many slicksters you could technically with this if I am remembering this correctly. You do have to leave the room open for that though, otherwise they will get crammed. Same for the sunny shells, I also did leave the room open here and they are happy. Also a sunny shell will drop food as well, so you do have a nice food production here as well as thimble reproduction and a bit of sand production. I also think that I need to cool this a bit better, so let's set this to 30. The power is connected via this power transformers which I dipped in a little bit of water which is thermally connected to the output water from the petroleum generator. So they are basically cooled with medium hot output water and or the carbon dioxide in this room. And yeah that's pretty much it. Now I just switch through the different overlays. As for the conveyor loaders, they are set basically to everything that you want to get rid in this room. Here I do have a filter for everything but lumber, which can be achieved by setting this to lumber and putting a knot gate right next to it. 
We do pick up everything but lumber in the ethanol distiller room as well, then transport it in the line above, which will drop all the stuff to the seneschals. We do pick up basically everything in the room from the slickster. We pick up reed fiber and a little bit of sand here, as well as the meat from the crabs in the seneschal ranch here. Far to the left we do have a few more pumps to pick up all that carbon dioxide. The automation for both of the pumps to the left and to the right is just this atmo sensor here set to 4kg. So it's basically all the times on at, at the moment. The liquid pump is controlled by this hydro sensor set to above zero. This is pretty much the whole automation that we have. I do have two critter sensor here just so I know how many critters are in the 87 at the moment here to the left, 87 to the right because this room is connected and counts everything that is in the same room. And the automation here is just a cable connecting the conveyor rail sensor to the conveyor rail chute which will drop the sand detected by this sensor. That's pretty much it guys. Do with this whatever you want to. <laughs> maybe it helps you, maybe you don't. It's just my take on it. The only tip that I have for you is maybe integrate the thermo equi tuner a little bit better because this was the last thing I added for the temperature control. Everything else has been running for at least, let's check this, 149 cycles. Um, but aqua tuner has been added pretty late on. Have a nice day and see you on the main channel.